Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. This is the question. A 63 years old lady is diagnosed as having an endometrial carcinoma arising from the uterine pool. To which nodal region will the tumor initially metastasize? So first of all, we can see this uh, 63 years old lady and diagnosed endometrial carcinoma and this carcinoma arising from the body of the uterus. So we have to find out which nodal region, that means which lymph node region the tumor initially metastasize. Here are the options. So options are paraortic nodes, iliac lymph nodes, inguinal nodes, presacral nodes and mesorectal lymph node. So let's see the different part of the uterus first. Here we can see this is the uterus, and here this area, this area is the fundus of the uterus, and we can see then it all part. These are the body of the uterus, and the later part. This is the cervix of the uterus. So we can see this is the uterus and above part it is the fundus then we can see it is the body of the uterus and in the lower part it is the cervix of the uterus so this is the main three parts of a uterus then we can see in this picture also we have a detail about the uterus and other structure which is related to the uterus such as we can see this Above part is the fundus of the uterus, then in the middle part it is the body, and lower part here the cervix. And we also can see some other structures such as the fallopian tube, and here the ovary. These are the main female internal genital structure. So now see the lymph node. Here we can see the lymph nodes in the different parts, and they drain the uh, lymphatic from the uterus so first of all here we can see this area this is the fundus in this picture also this is the fundus so from the fundus we can see the limb initially drain in the this group of limb node and this group of limb node is known as the pre aortic limb node so we can see the fundus also the fallopian tube they drain into the pre aortic lymph node then we can see here this this part or middle part it is the body here we can see this is the body and from the body we can see the the initially drain into the external iliac lymph node or iliac lymph node and also we can see in the lower part here is the cervix and from the cervix we can see it is the paracervical lymph node so in the Main headings we can see the fundus, the, the periotic and later periotic lymph node from the body, external iliac lymph node, and from the cervix, it is paracervical lymph node. And we can see these are the vagina, and from the vagina, they are also drained into different part. In the second picture, we also can see here from the fundus, they are the periotic and paraotic lymph node, and from the body, they drain into the external iliac lymph node, and from the cervix different part of the drain such as the parasacral or or external iliac internal iliac in the different part actually the cervix they drain in the different part of the limb node tissue so here in short we can see the uterine fundus it drains into paraortic limb node the body of the uterus it's drained into the iliac limb node and the cervix from the cervix you can see there is the external iliac limb node internal iliac limb node and free sacral limb node so so the cervix we can say is the the free sacral internal iliac and external iliac and from the fundus paraotic and our main focusing point here the body the body drain into the internal iliac limb node so our final answer uh, as the tumor arising from the uterine body the we initially metastasis into the iliac group of limb node or external iliac group of the limb node thank you all